Hello everyone, this is Brother Teacher. I, I just wanted to touch on a story uh, that came to my attention a couple weeks ago about a, a young 25 year old female from North Carolina who was murdered I won't say allegedly murdered. She was murdered in Cabo, Mexico while on a brief uh, stint and or vacation with a group of friends. Note that I said friends, maybe. But anyway, approximately seven of them left North Carolina en route to Mexico and upon rising in or excuse me arriving in, in Mexico on the 29th of October she ends up dead I don't know of any better way to put this um, The initial so-called explanation for what happened to her by friends, the ones that accompanied her there, was that she had some sort of uh, toxic uh, reaction to alcohol. Okay, let's say this again. A toxic I believe I'm using the right verbiage. Toxic reaction to some alcohol that she had drank. She's 25 years old. But what surfaced on the internet was a video of her in a fight with another young lady. And I use that term fight very loosely because my eyes don't lie to me and Shaquilla was not fighting back they were in what appeared to be a hotel room and this other girl was literally pummeling her and Shaquilla was trying to get away and the girl just kept swinging and swinging and swinging on her so um I saw another brief video where some guy who's alleged to have been a friend maybe of hers was trying to protect himself and say that he wasn't there when it took place and he wanted to try to use as evidence some timeline uh, to protect himself really from what I could see because he kept mentioning his uh, his itinerary and or his uh, plane ticket and the time that was on there saying that he could have not been there people keep saying that he was there and he said that he wasn't there but what's interesting I don't know who it was I cannot verify this but when you look at the fight video after I have watched a few videos after you see the actual fight video you hear a male's voice in the background uh, urging Shaquilla to fight back while this other girl is beating her up and you can hear other voices there in the room at the same time now I heard allegedly that this was over some boy while this other girl was beating up on Shaquilla so uh, anyway that sort of uh, in my own viewpoint throws out the idea that she had a, a toxic reaction to some liquor this woman was beat to death for the most part now these were supposedly friends traveling to have a good time in Mexico and one of them and unfortunately Shaquila ends up dead mm. 
from someone beating her up. What kind of a vacation or outing is that? So, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm going to leave. But I want you to tell me what your viewpoint is as to based on watching the video clip that I'm going to put in this particular video in the comment section or the description section uh, if you haven't already seen it I want you to tell me know tell me what you think I think that this group of young people went on vacation for this short period of time but they were not all apparently friends Shaquilla had no intentions of this happening and this other young lady for some reason or another who went on vacation with them should have never been there in the first place because she was not Shaquilla's friend obviously but as the old expression goes if it doesn't come out in the wash it will come out in the rinse that's the truth so they were there this fight and or attack on Shaquilla took place and someone had enough presence of mind to pull out their cell phone for videotaping and I believe they were going to upload it online which is what their intentions originally were you know so they can get some stars so that they could get some views so that it would make them uh, maybe popular or more popular to show this video maybe it was funny to them but never did they know and or realize that it was going to end up in the death of that young lady but it was cute at first and you standing off to the side Quila fight back why aren't you fighting back it was good to take the video then until you found out oh the girl beating her up went too far now you all are in a mess I feel, I believe, every person that was in that room as that one girl, especially the one girl who was beating on her, should go to prison. Every last person that stood in that room while she was getting beat up should go to prison. For what amount of time? I don't know at least 10 years and if you were not the person that did it you were just as bad as the person that did it if you allowed it it's that simple you were complicit you participated because you didn't do anything to stop and or attempt to stop it and now there's a family that's grieving now the loss of their child and it has made international news. It's unfortunate that this happens all of the time, but I'm glad that this made international news. As Willie D said, somebody going to jail. And I hope it's every last one of you that were in that room as she was losing her life at the hands of whoever this other person was. That's it. No second chance. Uh-uh. You should know better. And if it were about a boy and or relationship, that is so, so, so petty and not worth another human being's life. That was it. And that was all. Let me know what you think. This is Brother Teacher.